folks, I'm Sherry Martin. Welcome to Harris Acres and Heart of the Home. Well, simple. Tonight, I have the simplest recipe. My guest isn't simple. He sings for a living, and that's a tough <laughs> job. My guest, Randy Johnson, is here, and you're from Fort Lauderdale, Florida? Correct. Right? Yes, ma'am. And when I told you what I was going to make, and you told me you never had a tomato sandwich, what did I say? You were very surprised, that's I for sure. I was shocked, <laughs> honey. I was shocked to death. Now, Fort Lauderdale is... Y'all kind of sound like Yankees a little bit. Well, I was born in New York State. Well, uh, that explains <laughs> yes. it. That explains it. Well, we lived in Orlando for a few oh. years, and my husband told everybody that I was a city slicker. I'm not a city <laughs> slicker. I lived in Orlando and Atlanta, so that combination does not qualify me for no. a city slicker. No. But tomato sandwiches, I mm. cannot wait until tomatoes come in so we can have a tomato sandwich with blue plate mayonnaise, I might add. And, and we never, Mama never bought white bread. Now, my children love white bread, but Mama always bought brown bread. And her saying was, the whiter your bread, the sooner you're dead. <laughs> that was Mama, you know. Yeah. So, and you said you like pumpernickel bread. Love it. I just got some wheat bread. I got some cracked wheat bread. And I'm going to make you your first over-the-sink tomato sandwich. Now, why wow. is it an over-the-sink tomato sandwich? Because I'm probably going to get it all over me unless I hang over the sink. Exactly. Okay. And your sweet wife says, honey, don't mess up your shirt. <laughs> That's you true. You sing with First <laughs> Mountain City. Yes. You've got your shirt on today, yeah. and we don't want you to mess that shirt no, up. So. Not at all. And you learned quickly, the way to my house is the way to a meal. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. The way to my house is the way Only to a meal. Only have to hear that one time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> We do like to cook, and I love gospel music, so we always combine the two. And today, I am going to share one of my favorite recipes. We're going to take two pieces of bread. Now, you can toast it or you can not toast it. We're not going to toast it. And we're going to put blue plate mayonnaise on it. Does this sound hard so far? Not so far. I don't think it's going to be no. hard at all. Now, we're going to coat this bread, and remember, this is Maria Bowling, who's on the board with me at Habitat. This is her recipe, and it really does, you need to be over the sink, because it lit, gets a little bit ooey gooey, but man, it is so good. And some folks crust the bread never, and Mother would get mad at us if we left our crust. Definitely. She said, that's an important part of the bread, so eat it. Now, we have yellow and red tomatoes today. Do you have a preference? I do not. Let's combine them. That'll work. Let's combine them. Let's do that. And a little salt and pepper. Oh, my goodness. Now, I like the black pepper. Love the, the taste of black pepper and tomatoes. And I'm going to give you a kicker on this. Mama also made cucumber sandwiches. Have you ever had a cucumber I've sandwich? I've never had a cucumber okay. sandwich. Now, a cucumber sandwich meant there weren't any tomatoes. And we were dead broke. Gotcha. <laughs> and it meant that one of the neighbors brought us some cucumbers. I gotcha. <laughs> but now this is your sandwich. We're going to eat that in just a minute because when we let you eat that, you might make a mess. So we're going to wait till we cut away. I want you to tell me why you sing gospel music. Well, I believe it's the best music there is out there because Absolutely. it's got the greatest message in it. Absolutely. And, and we talk about that a lot on Heart of the Home. The message is the music. That's correct. And, and I have left a lot of churches and remembered a little bit about the sermon and remembered a little bit about that message, but I never forgot. I never forgot. When you hear Amazing Grace, there's no question what that's about. That's right. There's that's no correct. question what it's about. Now, I want you to taste this. Remember, over the sink over tomato the sink. sandwich. Oh, yes. Over the sink tomato sandwich. And mm. while you do that, oh, my goodness. Is that awesome? Mm. <laughs> Is that mm. awesome? <laughs> You've never lived till you come to North Georgia. Oh. <laughs> what have I missed all you my life? You could have stayed in Florida and you'd have mm. never learned. You'd have never learned. Excuse me while I finish this, okay? That's right. And now mm. with a tomato sandwich, you have to have sweet tea. Mm -hmm. And remember, we use Louisiana sweet tea. Can I teach you something? You sure can. Drop that bag in that hot water. I think I can do that. Is that, that hard? And you tell me that y'all actually buy pre-made tea? Yes, we do. Honey, you won't be doing that anymore. <laughs> you won't be doing that anymore. Mm. I have given you two of the simplest southern recipes oh. ever. Are you converted? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, can you say hissy fit? Hissy fit? Hissy fit. Okay. We're there. Welcome to the south. <laughs> Welcome to the south. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> 
Hi folks, we're back. I'm so proud of myself. I converted a darned Yankee. Yes, you did. <laughs> I made you into a southern boy. Yes, ma'am. And you're going to learn to say southern things like y'all. Y'all. And yeah. yuns. Mm -hmm. Yuns. And yuns come back now. That's so, right. Now, I'm going to teach you to make, we talked about this, sweet tea, because you said your wife buys tea. Correct. Now, this is one Louisiana family size tea bag, and we have steeped it. And you're going to fill that with water now. And I've already put my sugar in there. And guys, you know how I measure. You just know when it's right. I use Splenda in my tea because I don't use real sugar for me, but I'm using real sugar today because we have guests. And Randy, you're going to hang around and we're going to have a little company and we're going to fix some dessert. And I don't want you to leave. I just want you to step out of the way and we're going to let Miss well, Lucy you. cook. And uh, we're going to make a dessert I think you'll enjoy. And if you weren't Southern when you got here, <laughs> you got here as quick as you could, didn't you? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> didn't you? Oh, me. Now we're going to have some tea. Now, I did yours with sugar, and I'm mm. going to do mine with Splenda, but there you go. Thank you. And great having you here. I Thank loved you. it. Good and I want here. you to come back often. Come we'll back often, it. and I'll be seeing you on the road. Thank now, you very much. Miss Lucy's going to come in, and we're going to do a dessert that she, I said, find me something cool to make, Lucy. It's too hot to do a lot of cooking today. So here we go, guys. Mama Lucy's back. And... Yeah. I said a simple, simple, cool recipe. Right. And you came up with one. You created this recipe, didn't yes, you? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Now tell me the ingredients. Well, for the crust, you take nuts, mm -hmm. a cup of nuts. Right. Does it matter? Do you use pecans, walnuts, whatever? I've always just used pecans. Okay. Okay. And I'm allergic to walnuts. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. And I use a cup of sugar. I use three egg whites, mm -hmm. two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Okay. And one teaspoon of vanilla. All right. Uh, beat your egg whites, gradually pour your sugar in, add your uh, cream of tartar to that, mm -hmm. then the vanilla, and then stir in the egg whites. And then the main ingredient for the crust is a premium soda crackers. Wow, how hard is that? One, oh. rack, one rack of soda crackers, and I take the Roll and pin and, and, okay. and, and break the crackers okay. up. Okay. Now, I've actually used a saucer, too, if you don't have a rolling pin. Mm -hmm. now, now, let me ask you about something. Because this does have egg whites in it, right. atmosphere makes a difference, doesn't it? it certainly Kinda does. Kind of like my aching bones, the atmosphere the makes weather. a difference. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So, are there any tips you have for that? Well. Uh, don't do it on a cloudy, I was gonna smoggy, say, muggy just, day. Just like divinity candy, Lucy, Lucy, you can't do it. The place to do this? Alaska. <laughs> Alaska. Where the humidity when you, is perfect. When are you going to take me back? When? <laughs> Where the humidity is perfect. Now, this is simple. It's crackers, crackers. saltine crackers, mm -hmm. sugar, nuts, egg whites, cream of tartar, and vanilla. Right. Guys, this is simple. And you baked it how long? I baked it 30 minutes okay. at 350. Okay. Now, Mama Lucy, we know I am the queen of Cool Whip. Right. Now, does it matter if you use light Cool Whip, fat-free Cool Whip? I've got light today, okay. but it doesn't make a bit okay. of difference. Okay. Just according to what you want to use. Good, good. And you and just spread it on top of the crust after the crust is let's cooled. Let's do that. The okay. Cr the crust needs to be cooled. For an hour or so? Yeah. Okay. And then you said when this is done, it sits for about four hours. So this is something the, you can the, make the night before. Right, in the okay. refrigerator. It needs to sit for about four hours. Okay. But, of course, you have to put it in the refrigerator with a cool whip. Guys, you can watch Heart of the Home make this and then sit it in the refrigerator and have it the next day for lunch, right? Right, right. or for dinner that Good night. Good idea. Right. And you kind of make little peaks on it to where it'll stand up so you can put the cherries in it. And it looks like it's in the snow Oh, there. cute. Like so, this? Yeah. And did I learn just, about peaks from Miss Maisel Kemp and Home Ec? Oh, really? And did you take Home Ec? I did. I sure did. I loved my Home I Ec went teacher. To, went to high school at Tate. It did was you? a high school then. Wow. Yeah. And Tate is such a neat little community, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <coughs> yes. I love it. I love the Georgia Marble. I love pink marble. But I lived in Marble Hill. That's where I grew up. Oh, that's right, because you were a member of the Marble Hill Mafia. <laughs> that's what I call my little grannies that are all around. Sometimes they'll tell me stories about things they did in school. <laughs> and these sweet little women might have been mean once upon a time. So She used now, to think I was an angel. I did. <laughs> I did. About three trips down the road right. with the other grannies, right. and I figured out. Right. Now, do you just pour it on top of it? How do no, you do it? No, I okay. just add it with a spoon. Just, okay. Just Here, a, you do that. Uh, just it's very simple. You don't. You just dab it in okay. there. Okay. And uh, so this is actually probably enough cherries to make two, isn't it? No. You, no. You really, time you, okay. you really need it all the time you get it in there, because you probably put about three on a slice. You can probably get 
at least eight big slices out, I mean, big slices okay. out of this. And uh, you can go back and, and fill in. I'm glad you came up with this cool recipe because we didn't have to use the stove much, did we? Well, uh, you can cook this like, like I did the morning before, mm -hmm. you know, before you make it or whatever. Right, right. That's a neat idea. But uh, cook it when it's cool. Mm -hmm. But it's really not hard and... Uh, the only kicker is watch the time that you do egg whites because that, right. I have had that flop and that'll really make you mad because you work hard and you try to get it right. Well, and the egg you, whites... need, you need to add uh, your sugar just a little at a time okay. in your egg whites okay. because if you don't, it don't fluff real mm -hmm. good. But um, You know the first fudge I made? <clears throat> we lived in Orlando, hot and humid and muggy. Mm -hmm. I waited for a week for it to set up and I decided it wasn't going to, guys. It wasn't going to set up, huh? <laughs> So I threw it away. I was going to surprise Mother. I think I was in Girl Scouts. Oh, right. And I thought that would be neat to make something and it would go on my cooking badge. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. Didn't. Didn't work. No. And I think it had to do with either the humidity or the boiling point. I brought it. Mm -hmm. And you know, cooking is a learning process, isn't it? It certainly is. If, it is. If it doesn't work, do something different. Do something different. Do something different. Just learn from folks you like. Learn things that you like and right. share those with your friends. And you and I share a lot of things, don't we? We do. We, we do. We, we do. Share. I love Miss Lucy. We share our love. We do. We do. We and we ball. sing gospel. We, we sing love gospel that gospel song. music. That's we right. love that gospel exactly. music. Exactly. So, now we're going to enjoy this, and we're going to invite Randy back and have some tea oh, and some okay. dessert. All right. And we are going to um, be back in their homes every week, aren't we? Every single week. With a simple recipe, you promise you'll come back to see me? Promise. Okay. We love coming into your home. I welcome you to mine. And remember, we're going to be traveling in the near future. Right. We're going to be going back to Harris Farm, and we're going to be going to some other houses. So tune in. Maybe my house. Maybe your house. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. On the lake. Yeah. Wow. Y'all yeah. come back. You may get to see Mama Lucy's house. <laughs> Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, folks. We're back. And my little buddy, Kelsey, is here. Now, you race go-karts, and we talked about that a little bit earlier, and you help your dad build engines, and you know a little bit about grease. If I tell you to grease that pan, what are you going to use on it? Um, axle grease? No, Crisco. <laughs> Crisco. Will you grease that pan for me? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to teach you something all Southern women need to know. Cornbread. And there are tons of recipes for cornbread, so it doesn't matter what you use. Normally, I use Mayfield buttermilk. Today I'm going to use pet canned milk, so we're going to try something different. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue flake mayonnaise to it because it makes it rich. It also adds a few calories, but it adds some really good flavor. So um, we're going to do cornbread. Now you got to you have to grease it thick. You got to get it on there thick. Remember, if you're greasing something on the track and it's not greasy enough, it messes your engine or your wheels up, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You got to really look, honey. See this? Woo! <laughs> There you go. Now spread that bad boy out. <laughs> now, see, and just get in every corner. See how you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really greasy. Okay. Now I'm going to be putting, we're using white lily cornmeal mix. And I am going to add a little bit of blue plate to this because it does give it a little bit of flavor and a little bit of moisture. We're going to use one heaping tablespoon of blue plate mayo, and we're using canned milk. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. <clears throat> One of the tricks I want to teach you, you see this? Some people roll their biscuits out, some people make pie crust. This is really a husband motivator. If that bad boy talks about your cooking when you're learning, sometimes men get testy when you're learning. And they, and they make fun of your cooking, don't let them. Get this out and remind them what this is for. <laughs> this is a granny's, and, and granny passes it down to the next generation. So I'm going to teach you to cook, but I'm also going to teach you choose your battles. If he fusses <laughs> about your cooking, just kind of take it and go on. Don't let it bother you. I've made things that my husband was like, what were you thinking? <laughs> so, yeah, you're doing okay. You're doing okay. Now I need about half that bowl full of water. How you gonna get that grease off your hands? <laughs> there you go. Here, you can use a napkin and wipe it off too. That'll help. That'll help. Now cornmeal, blue flake, one egg, and I'm gonna sneak and put a little bit of sugar in there. 
one of my buddies doesn't like sugar in her cornbread, but my husband did, and I just kind of got used to it. And I just little used a little bit. Cornmeal, egg, and I used canned milk today. Normally I would use Mayfield buttermilk, but I didn't have any Mayfield today, and I just decided I would do this with canned milk. And I try to keep canned milk here. Now, can I have about half a bottle of water? Mm -hmm. There you go. There you are. Now, does your mom cook much? Mm hmm Does she? We're at the go-kart track as much. We don't have a whole lot of time for weekend cooking, do we? <laughs> nope. Got home at 15 to 5 Sunday morning. Yeah, I know. Are y'all crazy or what? <laughs> <laughs> It's fun though, it is fun. And you know, y'all park next to Brett Miller who is involved in Karting Crusaders. Mm -hmm. It's a great Christian organization for kids on the go-kart track. Yep. And he has prayer meeting before each race. And a awesome young man, awesome young man who happens to be the best in this sport, isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely great, he is so good. Now how simple was this? It's pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty simple. I used to make my cornbread in an iron skillet, but a few years ago I just changed and started doing this and uh, it makes it real thin. And have you ever had cornbread and buttermilk? Um, I think my mom's made it before. Yeah, I like cornbread, buttermilk, and black pepper. Lots of black pepper. Okay, Miss Kelsey, I want you to stick that in the top oven and when it gets ready, we're gonna enjoy some cornbread and vegetables. I think y'all are gonna like this. We've got fresh tomatoes, squash casserole. This is gonna be a great dinner. And it'll be your first cornbread that you didn't use axle grease for. <laughs> there you go. Just stick it in. That'll take about 15 minutes to cook and it will be wonderful. Guys, remember recipes are to share. This has been a great day. I taught a young girl to make cornbread and I taught her to eat tomato sandwiches. Wow, what a life. Well, Miss Kelsey, I taught you something. It was fun teaching her. It's fun to have friends and family into our homes. Y'all, find a reason to celebrate. Celebrate a garden. Celebrate somebody else growing the vegetables. But celebrate. Life is all about good times, good friends, and good family. I want you to come back every week to Heart of the Home. I love doing this, and I, and I hope it reflects. I love having my friends around. I love cooking. I love go-kart racing. And I love the idea that we have a good group of Christian friends and family. And I want to see you again soon now. Take care. Bye-bye. Miss Lucy fixed me some tea. I did. There you go. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Mmm. Good. Good. Folks, this has been a great day. I've enjoyed being in your home. I hope you've enjoyed coming to mine. I want you to share Harris Farm with me. I want you to share the new house with you. As the gardens bloom, we'll be talking about that. And as new recipes come in, we'll be talking about that. But right now, I want to share something really special with you, some good gospel music. I love good gospel music, and I love certain groups. Everybody knows I like the inspirations. You may hear the inspirations one day. You may hear Barry Scott one day. You may hear new groups. But I promise you, I'll share good gospel music with you every week. Now sit down and enjoy. Take care. His name is wonderful, marvelous, he's the son of the great I am. He is a doctor, father, shepherd of the lamb. He's the king of kings and the lord of lords and the master of the sea. But the best thing of all, my friend, he still takes time for, for me. me. Peter was on the boat one day. He didn't know what to do. Oh, the winds got high, the waves got rough. They thought that they were through. Then a man on the boat, he awoke and spoke with a mighty will. He stretched his hands toward the sea and said, Peace, peace.
still his name is wonderful, marvelous. He's the son of the great I am. He is the doctor, potter, shepherd of the land. He's the king of king and the lord of lord and the master of the sea. But the best thing of all, my friend, he still takes time for me. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego refused to kneel one day. Oh, in the fiery furnace they go as they began to pray. The king was happy and the people shouted for the deeds he had done. But when he looked down, he had a frown. There were more of them walking around. His name, it's wonderful, marvelous. He's the son of the great I am. Doctor, father, shepherd.